Very good afternoon to all of you distinguished guests, particularly Pa Sofian Wanandi, the chairman of Apindo, and all the people that have worked very hard to make this event a reality and also a success. I was in Brussels a few weeks ago to try to advance some of our discussions with regards to the prospect of a comprehensive economic partnership agreement between Indonesia and the EU, <clears throat> it became very apparent to me that if we were to proceed on this, there's two principal issues that matter to the Europeans. And the first would be everything that's in regards to transparency, and the second is everything that's in regards to sustainability. Indonesia is on the brink of retooling itself towards a new future, where we're going to grow from a $1 trillion economy last year to a much larger number in the next eight years to potentially 3 to $4 trillion US dollars and potentially 7 to $9 trillion by 2030. But that won't happen if we don't get things right. And one of the few things that we have to get right is making sure that we protect ourselves and the environment. We have attended so many meetings that have been attended by industrialists within the paper-related products that basically are committed to the 2020-20 paradigm. 20% reduction of carbon emission, 20% reduction of poverty, and 20% increase in productivity slash efficiency. These are goals which I think will be a work in progress. And a work in progress by way of our doing things in communities that will tell us what's right and what's wrong. One of the mechanisms that we are developing is the verification system, the SVLK. This was one of the topics that I talked about with my counterpart in Brussels. This is the topic that I raised when I was in the US. This is the topic that I raised when I was in various meetings in different parts of the world in that we're committed, not just in terms of sound bites, but also in terms of how we want to do this going forward in establishing the necessary mechanism to verify that whatever we do from a forest-related product standpoint will be in accordance to how the world wants us to do things. I think you will see a much higher degree of pro proactivity from the government standpoint in terms of spending, in terms of retooling ourselves. And that, I think, is the game changer. Now, if that were to be altered in such a way, not just in terms of amounts, in such a way that we'll be able to focus on areas that are mindful, that are sensitive to protecting the environment, protecting the biodiversity, reducing the carbon emission, and doing all the things that are relevant, I think we might be able to get it right. We might be able to get it right, not just in terms of our ability to achieve a multi trillion dollar economy, but achieving that with the kind of pride that we can show to the rest of the world that we serve as one of the biggest lungs of the world, that we care about it, that we do it in ways that we can be held accountable the right way. In essence, I think this is going to be one of many events to come one of many events that will basically register what needs to be registered so that we can shape or continue shaping our behavior so that we can be more sensitive and protective of the environment so that when I go back to Brussels, I can tell people there, yes, we can tick off the box of sustainability. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.